been a year and a half since Greg Bryant Jr., a football star at American Heritage and played in college, was murdered in his car along I-95. Tonight, still no leads to his killer. For the first time, Greg's mother is talking about the pain she's dealing with and believes someone knows something. Sabira Rayford with her story. He was a star. He was a star to us. Renee McClendon loves to talk about her son, Greg Bryan. He loved football. That was his passion. Greg was her firstborn. The 21 year old received a scholarship to play college football, but now she only has her memories. Is everybody okay? No. Somebody's hurt? Oh, yeah. In May of 2016, Greg was gunned down on 95 South while driving home from a West Palm Beach nightclub. I never want any mother to feel the way that I do. She hasn't spoken publicly about that night until now. It's always going through my brain. What could have happened that night? You know, why did this happen? What could have happened? It's been more than a year and police have not identified any suspects or motives. This was senseless gun violence. I don't know why anybody in this world want to hurt my son. She hears rumors about that night. All she knows is that he was at Sugar Daddy's watching some friends perform. She says the last update she got was a year ago. Now she's hoping after more than a year of silence, someone might come forward. It's not that I'm angry. I just want something to be done, like something has to give. Just a really sad story. Coming up at 6, I'll have more from Renee on how their family has kept Greg's memory alive. In, uh, in West Palm Beach, Spear Ray for WPTV News Channel 5.